You join us for the litany in contemporary language on page 175 of the Book of Common Prayer. The litany is recommended for use on Sundays, Wednesdays and Fridays, particularly in the seasons of Advent and Lent and on Regation Days. It can be used though at any time of the year and in the morning or the evening. When it is used as a separate service, as in this case, we proceed it with a psalm, a canticle and one of the readings of the day. Readings of the day will be from last Sunday, the second Sunday of Easter. It's the epistle for that day, the first epistle general of Peter, chapter 1, beginning at the third verse. We take a moment to collect our thoughts before we begin. Psalm 16 Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord, all my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. And in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices, my flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life, in your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. The canticle is the first part of the canticle Te Deum. It's found on page 106 of the prayer book. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. You, To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim continually do pray. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. A reading from 1 Peter chapter 1. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a while, you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold that, though perishable, is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy. For you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Thanks be to God. The Litany on page 175.
God the Father, creator of heaven and earth, have mercy on us. God the Son, redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, giver of life, have mercy on us. Holy, blessed and glorious Trinity, three persons in one God, have mercy on us. Save us, good Lord, from all sin and wickedness, from pride, hypocrisy and conceit, from envy, hatred and malice, and all uncharitableness. Save us, good Lord. From sins of thought, word and deed, from the lusts of the flesh, from the deceits of the world and the snares of the devil. Save us, good Lord. From fire, storm and flood, from disease, pestilence and want, from war and murder, and from dying unprepared. Save us, good Lord. From all false doctrine, from hardness of heart, from contempt of your word and commandment, and from the evil of schism. Save us, good Lord. In times of sorrow and in times of joy, in the hour of death and in the day of judgment, save us, good Lord. Save us, Lord Christ, by the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your birth, childhood and obedience, by your baptism, fasting and temptation. Save us, Lord Christ. By your ministry and word and work, by your mighty acts of power and by your preaching of the kingdom. Save us, Lord Christ. By your agony and trial, by your cross and passion, and by your precious death and burial. Save us, Lord Christ. By your mighty resurrection, by your glorious ascension, and by your sending of the Holy Spirit. Save us, Lord Christ. We pray for the Church. Hear us, good Lord. Govern and direct your Holy Church. Fill it with love and truth, and grant it that unity which is your will. Hear us, good Lord. Give your church courage to preach the gospel and to make disciples of all the nations. Hear us, good Lord. Give knowledge and understanding to bishops, priests and deacons, that by their life and teaching they may proclaim your word. Hear us, good Lord. Give all people grace to receive your word and to bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. Hear us, good Lord. Bring all who have erred and are deceived into the way of truth. Hear us, good Lord. We pray for the state. Guard and bless our rulers, especially Boris Johnson, our Prime Minister, for all who serve in the Cabinet, for all those elected to Westminster and the regional assemblies, and grant that they may trust in you and seek your honour and glory. Hear us, good Lord. Bless our country and give grace, wisdom and understanding to all in authority. Hear us, good Lord. Bless the European Union and draw us closer to one another in justice and freedom. Hear us, good Lord. Bless those who administer the law that they may uphold justice in honesty and truth. Hear us, good Lord. Bless and keep all who maintain peace and safety. Hear us, good Lord. Give to all nations unity, peace and concord. Hear us, good Lord. Let us pray for all people according to their needs. Strengthen the faithful, comfort and help the faint-hearted. Raise up those who fall and drive out all evil. Hear us, good Lord. Support and encourage all who are in poverty, unemployment or distress. Protect those whose work is dangerous and keep in safety all who travel. Hear us, good Lord. Keep fathers, mothers and children united in their family life and give them wisdom and strength in times of stress, anxiety and testing. Hear us, good Lord. Heal the sick and care for the old and lonely and comfort the bereaved. We pray today for those who are sick and in need of our prayers, for the bereaved, for Harry, 
Patricia, Helen, Emma, Paul, Rodney, Robert, Andrew, for a sick friend, for Paddy and Helen, Peter and Catherine, Jean and Henry, John and Yvonne, for Muriel, for Dick, for all NHS staff and key workers. Hear us, good Lord. Remember the poor who long to hear good news. Give us the will to strengthen them through acts of generous love. Hear us, good Lord. Show your pity on victims of strife, on the homeless and the hungry, on prisoners and on all who live in fear. Hear us, good Lord. Forgive our enemies, persecutors and slanderers, and turn their hearts. Hear us, good Lord. Guide and direct all who influence others through the written or the spoken word, and inspire all who serve humankind in science, industry, art and research. Hear us, good Lord. Bless and keep all your people. Hear us, good Lord. Teach us to use the resources of the earth to your glory, that all may share in your goodness and praise you for your loving kindness. Hear us, good Lord. Saviour of the world, forgive our sins known and unknown, things done and left undone. Grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit, that we may amend our lives according to your holy word and share with all your people the joys of your eternal kingdom. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, give us your peace. Our rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.